So now what? That is what a lot of parents are asking right now as they try to navigate back to school yep. during the pandemic. And you're one of them. I am. Yeah. yeah. Now what? But a new virtual webinar series is hoping to help with that. Kidsburg Ambassador Yuling Bear joins us live with some great events that they have planned. Hi, Yuling. Hello. We are so excited about this series. I mean, it's it's really acknowledgement to where parents are today, which is we're all navigating something that we've never had to navigate before. And so it really is, so now what? How do we work together? So um, I'm excited to talk about it. Kidsburg is a co-host along with Remake Learning Days Across America and the Allegheny Intermediate Unit. And so tell us about the series and how people can to watch it and take advantage of it. Yeah, so the series is held via Zoom. It's every Wednesday evening. Um, we talk about a different topic each time, and we have a lot of national and local partners that join us. Uh, we actually began last night with um, Dr. Freeman, who is an infectious specialist at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. Her specialty happens to be coronaviruses. And so she talked us through like what you need to know as to how COVID-19 spreads, how to help your kids, what masks to wear, um, how to manage bus rides, um, all of those things that we worry about as a parent. And so next uh, coming up, up next Wednesday, mm -hmm. We're actually going to talk about mental health and we're doing a two sessions, one at 7 p.m. for families with young children. Um, it's called Supporting Young Children's Social and Emotional Wellness uh, that was put together by PBS Kids and Fred Rogers Productions. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the Daniel Tiger episode where Daniel Tiger deals with his feelings of, about COVID-19, about the neighborhood carnival being canceled, about how do we manage going to school. Um, and uh, Roberta Schomburg, who's the director of the Fred Rogers Center and is a consultant to the show, she will talk through kind of the lessons that parents can learn from this. And, and how they can implement it at home and how do they help kids deal with their feelings of sadness or uncertainty. Um, and Roberta, I mean, um, Gina Masiola from WQD will also share other PBS kids resources. Well, and you link on that um, same And then night later girl. that evening at 8 p.m. we'll talk about tweens, teens and mental health with Common Sense Media. And there's so much research out there about teens and technology and what does that do to their mental health. Um, some of it is factual, some of it is fear-based. And so we'll talk through that. We'll also share when you should be concerned, what are the signs you look for, and how can you help support your child. And something else that I know is part of this is how parents can really partner uh, with the schools and the teachers and really be a great resource for the teachers. And there's five steps involved, right? Yes, so on September 16th, we'll be um, co-hosting with Learning Heroes, a national nonprofit. And they really outlined five steps of how parents can partner with their teachers. So one thing is to do a readiness check. Make sure you know where your child is with their literacy and their math, and then you can figure out a plan when we're moving forward. Another step they'll talk about is know that your voice is important. A lot of times I think we as parents wait for the teachers to reach out to us, but this year you wanna be an active partner. You want to voice when you need help, you wanna share ideas, you wanna craft that plan together. The other thing that they'll talk about is you wanna lean into your child's emotions. Um, you want to hear what they have to say, and that'll help them communicate better. It'll help them build resilience, problem solve, and it'll help build their confidence. Yuling, coming up on September 16th, this is something uh, that I think a lot of people will also be interested in. It's, it's, oh wait, that's what you just talked about, on the 23rd rather. I did not think about this, but the safety of being online and balancing tech use and making sure that your kids aren't getting that mean bullying behavior because they're going to be exposed a lot more. Absolutely. So the conversation has changed about digital technology. So with Common Sense Media, we're going to talk about that. How do you find that balance? You know, a lot of times I think we used to be worried about the number of minutes our kids were online on the screen. But now this conversation shifted to how do you use technology in an appropriate way? How do you use it for engaged learning and how do you balance it? Mm -hmm. How do you keep your kids safe? What mm -hmm. are some of the tricks that you can use to limit time, but then also make it available for them when they need it? And quickly, the other things we'll talk about is how do you create screen free zones in your house? And we'll also talk about modeling behavior. You know, youth, they watch us. They watch what we're doing. They watch how many times we pick up our phone. Yeah. And so we have to model the right behavior for our kids. You are absolutely right. Yes. They are watching. And when you pick up your phone all the time, it makes a difference. I feel bad. Yeah, yeah. doing it sometimes. All right. And, and finally, on September 30th, uh, quickly, learning resources. Tell us about that, Yulee. 
So we're just going to end the series by talking about different learning resources, both local and national. The one that we're happening to look at here is called Wide Open School. It's uh, kind of built in all these different resources across different topic areas for kids from preschool through grade 12. Um, and this is a year where learning is going to happen at school and at home. It happens everywhere. And so we hope to provide some resources that are helpful to parents. So many great resources, mm -hmm. definitely. Thank you so much, Yuling. Thank you. All right, and for more on all the activities Yuling mentioned, visit kidsburg.org and sign up for the Kidsburg newsletter so you are always in the know.